In this interview, we will be discussing what the LGBT community have to face every day. One of the topics is the certain stereotypes that transgender, lesbian, and gay people have to go through in their daily lives. Out of LGBTQ, which one has the most hatred? Um, I think that's a, a difficult question to answer as far as who gets the most hatred. I, I would say that I think um, trans non-binary folks are, tend to be the most visible. You know, for example, uh, you know, when I am out walking down the street and I'm wearing a dress and I have makeup on, people notice me. I stand out um, because I can't really hide all of my more masculine features. And on those days, I tend to get more harassment um, than days where I present more androgynously. So I would say that I think we all get kind of experience bias in different ways, but uh, trans uh, non-binary folks or gender non-conforming folks tend to uh, stand out more and therefore get a lot of uh, bias. Out of LGBTQ, which one do you think has the most hatred? Well, I really don't know, but like, from my experience, I have got hatred like in, like in middle school, elementary school, and high school. It was just like everybody, I was like the school faggot, and it was just like everybody, like mo most of the boys didn't like me. And, like, like on the streets, I can like, I walk feminine, and I act feminine, and I talk, and I dress a little bit. I'm so. always looking over my shoulder, making sure it's okay if I give my girlfriend a kiss. Always being aware of where we're holding hands and trying to scan people's faces to see if anyone's gonna try and give us shit. It's just exhausting. I'm just jealous of folks who can just hold hands in public and not have to worry about anything. Um, I agree with Jake. I definitely think that the transgender part of the community has the most hatred because some people feel like you're supposed to be like the gender that you was born with, that's how you're supposed to stay and that's it. So I Do you ever wish you weren't bisexual? No! <laughs> Actually, hmm. sometimes, yes. I used to sit there and cry sometimes at night and just be like, please God, why can you not just make me gay? Deserve. It gets annoying that these gay people are like, oh, Stonewall, you know, faint and all that shit. So what about the transgender people? What about the folks that were there that were fighting?